Okay, so this explanation is about the base today. Um, I will try to make this video the best I can. Explaining the best I can the base because the base is very easy. If you started to learn the bass or you play by ear, this is going to help you a lot so you could play much better and you could understand the song that you're going to play better. So let's start here with the bass. The bottom string is the E string, the thick string. So we got E and we got A, we got D and we got G, right? So this is skinny string and this is thick okay so we got the drawing the drawing is always going to be inverted okay let me show you the base hold on a second okay here we got the base so this is thick right so the drawing is like this Okay, the thick string, the very thick string on the bottom, and the skinny one on top. That's how it's draw here. All right. So here we go. We got here the scale, the C scale. Remember, the C scale is the easiest one because it doesn't have any sharp or flat. By the way, if you need to rewind to understand the video, play it again, rewind it again until you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so I advise you rewind again, play it again, and again and again until you understand what I'm talking about. It's going to help you a lot. All right. Now, here we go. So we got a C scale, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B. The lines, if you look at the piano, is the black keys, the lines. The division are the black keys on the piano, okay? So you know from C to D is a whole step because you got a, a, you got a key or a note on the middle, so it's a whole step. From D to E, whole step. E, F, no whole step. This is a half step. You know that, okay? If we put this on the bass... You got to remember the E string here, we start just by plucking the string. It will give you the E sound. So that's why it's the E string. Okay. If we go right here, this is going to be F. If we go here, it's going to be G. This is going to be A and so on. We just follow the line after G goes a line so that's a space right there and then goes a there goes a line then goes b right here's b then goes right after the b goes c okay right here is c now remember after b goes c so if you count seven you can say eight or one because C, this C is the same as this one. So you could call this C8 or 1, doesn't matter. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, or 8, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Okay? Because you only have 7 notes. After the note, you have a sharp. So that's why you got the line. C, C sharp. C, C sharp, right here. This is going to be C sharp, right here. Now, after C sharp goes D, so this is going to be D. After D goes D sharp, this is going to be D sharp. And then we got E, so this is going to be E. Okay, remember, this is the thick string. The thick string the top string on the bass, the, okay? So this is the E string, E. Now, you got F, the line, F sharp. 
you got G, the line, G sharp. G, the line, G sharp. Okay, G, after G, go G sharp, then go A. Then the line, which is dividing A and B, the line is A sharp. That means that when you go this way, it's called Okay, 